been out to my favorite bar. Now, B, as I recall, she said she wasn't gonna be drinking. No, Brother, she definitely I said did. As much. I mean, and you stood, you literally, you stood on that this time. You said, "Hey, and you know what? The last time you said you wasn't drinking, and we bought this up, you tried to go back to that same thing and say, <laughs> said, not as much. No, you said you wasn't drinking." Oh no! Well, like I would never say that. That's like just that. a bold faced lie. I would never say that. <laughs> I know that's he a damn that. lie. He was there for two, three months. I'm curbing my drinking. I have not had a drink. I haven't been to my bar in a long time because the people I go with, they got COVID the last time. They've been on vacation. I had COVID. I was on vacation. I ain't been since like November, low key. So. Just a few drinks, nothing crazy. And then I probably won't do it again for another month because it's getting cold. I'm inside. Getting cold. It ain't cold already. Right. I mean, today is probably the coldest day of the week, honestly. It was in the 40s like Tuesday. Mm. Now it's fucking 13. Trash. But anyway, hi guys. What's up? Welcome to Top Shelf Podcast. I am a host. Destiny, and we got I'm, uh, B quarter, and we we introducing ourselves this time. Yes. B Bell, what's up, everybody? And if you're on any kind of uh, podcast streaming platform, make sure you subscribe, comment, do all of those things anywhere, everywhere, all the time. We like comments. Please leave some. Leave reviews. Too. Please, please. Leave um leave the comments, leave um reviews, leave whatever. Um go uh give us five stars on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> and shout out to the people that have actually done that. Actually, um yeah, so go do that and whatever else you can leave a good rate, girl. For a warning, you might hear my dog. She's been in the cage all day, so she's <laughs> intent. I mean, she's she's intending to bother me today. Uh, she might just start barking out of nowhere because people walk past the house. Yeah. So throw that out there. Okay. All good. <laughs> or, uh, well, Destiny, we kind of heard what's how your day been. Man. What's what's been going on this week? Man, not. Shit, not much, man. Shit, working, working crazy at the school, man. Um, this this pandemic shit is uh just taking a toll on everybody, man. Like I'm, uh, I'm um mentally tired. I'm tired, man. Um, kids, I'm working with a new batch of kids. Well, actually, second grade, and a lot of these kids are very low. Not to get all just uh, you know, uh, but. Shit, man, we got kids that don't even know how to add <laughs> trip, you know, triple digit ad. Mm-hmm. These second graders we talking about. So um, so yeah, man, that's that's what my week's been, man. That's that's what it's been. Yeah, you know, I feel you on the whole um pandemic thing for sure, man. It's been um I mean it's been weighing heavy <clears throat> on uh, everybody just in, in different in different ways. Uh I mean, it's been frustrating uh, for me just trying to put together all these different um, events. A lot of these companies and stuff like that is holding back because of uh, COVID or holding back their um, they dollars or doing anything to yeah. see how, you know, it's going to all play out. So it's just like it's unfortunate on so many, so many levels. Yeah, it is, man. Like. You know, people that's listening, if you have children, please take the time out and go the extra mile. Because, you know, people in the education system are tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know we're supposed to be talking about all the issues that's going on, but just to have a real to real moment, we're tired. You know, we, we, and we still got to wake up the next morning and go in there and do it all over again and hope we get some type of growth out of some of these kids. And it's not they fought, it ain't. But as parents, if you know that your child need an extra boost and you can be able to help them, please, auntie, uncle, grandma, some damn body, if you know you can able to do it, 
Please do it. Listen. Be sure this shit. I was uh helping him. He in second grade. I was helping on some math the other day. I said, am I smarter than a second grader? Because what the fuck is this? Why is this shit is hard? I'm like, this ain't this ain't the same math we had in second grade. What is this? And why am I struggling so much? <laughs> what type of math was it? It was it was like I don't want to say it was algebra problems, but it was like use he had to use different types of um, methods to solve um, like a mathematic equation. But it was like the tape uh, method and uh, oh, yeah. some. I'm like, what the what is that tape method? What? Yeah. They, Too much. They, they just don't have the um, what's the term I want to use? It's not the stand. They don't call it the standard way that we were taught. It's another way. Um, but the way we was all taught, like, you know, now it's two or three different methods the kids can choose yeah. from yeah, and be able to apply it to, to learn that, that um, to solve the math problem. Yeah. Oh, and then he goes to like a school that is, I guess you want to say it's like a, a, a Spanish accelerator school or something. So mm -hmm. everything's in Spanish. So they have to send, they have a book like <laughs> that literally is for us when we're helping him. That's in English because all of his directions are in Spanish. <laughs> like, oh wow! Really? What the hell? Hell? He's eight and he's <laughs> reading mathematical <laughs> equations in Spanish. I oh, know. so not only is it accelerated program, but he's learning Spanish as well fluently. Yeah, they speak oh, wow. Spanish like all day long. Like everything is in Spanish. Damn. Okay. So. <laughs> Hello, I got to relearn Spanish to help you because what the hell? Listen, don't ask me. I work with them every day. Ask me <laughs> if I know anything. <laughs> nope. Like, we legit, we legit got kids in there that don't speak any English. And I'm mm. sitting there doing small groups. And I'm like, all right. Who was, what's 300 minus 200? And I look at them. I, I don't know if they don't know any any English. And they like, <laughs> and I gotta look around. I'm I'm sitting there for seconds, like, oh, I'm like, she don't know Spanish. No, she <laughs> she does she know any English? No, she doesn't know any English. I'm like, yo, can you help me? And the kids translate for me. Yeah. They do, and then you find some like with math being a universal language. You know what I'm saying? You find some that don't speak any any English but can do the math. But a lot of the times, shit, I'm up shit's creek. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this one. She went to go a, her that, to her come in. Yeah, that that when this shit is like actually over, like it's going to be the pandemic is gonna end, but like <laughs> the pandemic education wise is going to be for many years because it's going to be so many kids that are going to be so behind yeah. and there's like how are you going to catch them up they just going to pass a whole bunch of kids that don't know shit because they're not going to have the resources or the time to like get them caught up like how do you even ha manage that how do you even handle that I don't and even that's know a, um, that's the dilemma they're facing now I mean um, <laughs> I'll tell y'all another story when we go off because um, I can't talk about it here but um it's 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 a heartbreaking story. Like I deal with this every day, and it and it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? To where it's just like, what is this? What is this student going to do mm -hmm. after this school year? And they you know got the nerve to be testing them too. I'm like, yeah, why? 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 And that's that's all a money thing. You know, yeah. they spent that money on on those tests, so they have to use them. You know, and then getting the you know the kick back in regards to coming from the government. It, it's it's a lot, That's man. Yeah. And my thing is, is the pandemic really going to end? I don't know. Like, what is the? Is there an end to this? Like, I'm 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 tired. Like, I'll tell you what happened to me this week. I went on a job interview this week, mm -hmm. and I kept my mask on and everything. And after the interview was over. You know, they were just saying how impressed they were with me and everything. And then the next question they asked me was, how do you feel about your beard? Looking at them like, how do I feel about my beard? Like, that's exactly how I looked at them. They was like, what? well, we just wanted to know if, you know, 
if you be willing to cut it, you know, it looks a little scruffy. Like, I'm thinking in my mind, like, my beard never looks scruffy. I ain't never been that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm like, sure it probably looks scruffy you. because I have this mask on and it's pressing down. What'd you say, B? Yeah, I said, I'm sure for an interview, you went the extra, extra mile. Exactly. Anyway. You know that. You know, come on, like, yeah. So it's just like, I'm not no scruffy looking person. That ain't never been my MO. And it's like, these damn masks got my shit pressed all up and it's all matted. You know what I'm saying? Right. To make me look like I'm just dusty or something. It's like, <laughs> the small stuff like that. Like, it's small stuff like that. It's just like, I'm over it, man. Like, I don't know if it will be over. I mean, it'll be it'll be cool, man, because it's just... um. Yeah, man, it just seemed like it just keep transforming and transforming. Like, is these fucking variants are gonna stop? Like, let's... it's gonna keep tra- it's gonna keep varying, varianting. Yeah. But I guess like the point is that the more it mutates, the weaker it gets. So it's gonna get to a point where it's like not as deadly. And not as contagious. Yeah. Like, God damn, we've been here two years. <laughs> well, how yeah. long this shit take? And you know, and and people so ignorant. Like, I'll take for instance, um, Pam. To, she was telling me today she was at um, it's this networking group she's a part of, and they just started back going in person. So, um, some of them come in there mask up, some of them don't. And mm-hmm. one of the members must have came by and. Must she must have said hello to him, and his first thing was like, "Is that Pam?" Oh, I wouldn't be able to see with all you know with that mask. I don't know who's from who, and like I had to tell him like, "Yo, you need to let him know." Like if he want to say something out the way, I'm right here. It's it's space and opportunity since he got a problem with you wearing a mask. Ready to fight. <laughs> well, that's just where I'm at with it right now. My patience. I like like remember the last. Last episode, yeah. what I tell y'all about in Vegas, my yeah. patience is low. <laughs> it's low. I am, I, I am ready for whatever. Like and that's, where, I, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm at. When I told, I said, "You say anything to you, you need to let him know. I will be late for work." <laughs> I'm gonna turn all that Y'all meet on Thursdays. I will be there with you on Thursday. I will be there. I will be late. <laughs> no games. Don't, 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 don't play about. Don't play about Pamela. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Oh, black love. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Enough about uh, COVID, man. Hopefully it's over soon. And um, we can go back to enjoying the things that we enjoy. This whole, I mean, I agree with you. That whole, the whole mask thing put a damper on fucking every, every damn thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, I mean, especially, I agree with you, like us with beards, like it just does not do our shit no justice at all. <laughs> and it's like, bro, like, Take for instance, I'm wearing my mask. I, I know we, we, we got to get on to the subject. It's, you know, what we do. But I wear my mask from 6.30 in the morning to 3 o'clock, Monday through Friday. I, you know, I got a whole regiment in the morning to get, to get my shit looking, you know, tight. <laughs> I, take that, I take my mask off. My shit feel like a Brillo pad from my <laughs> hot ass breath. <laughs> taking it off, like it just it just takes all the moisture out of it. Like you can literally take my chin and probably scrub a pan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I dry it, be. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, be it doesn't do us any type of justice. So when they was like, "Oh, how you feel about your beard?" I'm like, "What do you mean how I feel about my beard?" Just, what was it. the end result with that? As well, was I mean, did you t- did you tell them? What did you tell them about? Was you willing to? <laughs> Yeah. I didn't tell him nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we still going through the interviewing process with with that. But they was like, "Oh, you know, because you, I guess you know, I, I'll be dealing with the next higher ups in the next interview." And it was like there's sticklers and everything. Mm-hmm. And um, another guy that was in an interview that was interviewing me with me interviewing me. He has a beard, but he was just saying like, you know, they can be passive aggressive and everything. And I'm like, I don't need nobody passive aggressive about my grooming you know what i'm saying like my my, my grooming is very I, I keep it up 
weekly, daily. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, facts. Oh, yeah. All right. You ready, Destiny? Let's get into it. Let's roll them. <laughs> what? It's been a lot. I feel like, like I ain't even kept up, but I know it's been a lot. Oh, my goodness. I. Hey, did y'all see? Um, I posted it, but it was quite funny to me. This is just super random, but uh, Bobby Smurder was on um yes. his podcast and him, him falling off that couch. No, him that that thing was just comical. Period. Yeah, it was. It was very comical. But him falling off that couch. What killed me was the nigga's legs in the air, and he's still trying to go with just his legs. In the air. If they would have just left him down there, he would have still been just been going with <laughs> his legs in the air. Man, you, you know what I hate though? I hate how people trying to like demean him in regards of him dancing. That man bit that man was in jail for six years. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Let that if that man want to dance and rap, let him dance and rap. You know what though? I seen um very briefly, and so I don't want to misquote it because I just like uh, seen it real quick, but I seen something to where he was saying um, uh, about rappers not putting um, guns in their yeah. videos no more or something like that. But yeah, so I'm man, whatever is positive, man, whatever, man, do it. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of bullshit. And like you said, I never even thought about it that way, but. Yeah, he did. He spent all that time in, in prison. Man. I mean, I can only imagine what that does to you mentally once you get out and you like, man, I'm finna live. Exactly. Like, live like that. I'm, I'm sure that puts you in a different, you know what I'm saying, just a whole totally different yeah. mind state. You know, and it's like, him dancing don't take nothing from him being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's having fun. He's He's an entertainer. Let's yeah, just, and let's not forget from that. He was he was doing that. He was dancing before he before he went in. Like exactly. Was, yeah, that was all always a part of his thing. Yeah, that was always that. Like you said, it was always a part of his one too. So it's kind of like now it's like we we all up in arms about it. Not all of us, but yeah, some. Let's, let's be clear as well. Like, I mean, we know Bobby Smart at the end of the day is a street nigga. Like yeah. we know that. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much dancing, no matter what kind of music he makes. But to be honest with you, like the kind of music that he always made the same type of music. I mean, the song that blew him up, you know what I'm saying? Hot nigga. It was a whole dance that went yeah. with the damn song. It was a meme for the summer. Like they were yeah. popping the song and putting old school songs on it. And like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. So he ain't doing nothing, he ain't doing nothing different. Right. But proceed, Destiny. Oh, child. Um, so <sighs> niggas been nigging, of course. Um, let's start with ye and get this shit over with. Who? The wife's been waiting too, so who we start uh, with? Ye, Kanye. Oh yeah, okay. ye, whatever. Okay. However the hell you say it. So this nigga was on a rampage. He was ranting last week. Started off with, um, I guess he did an interview saying that he bought the house across the street from Kim in order to be closer to his kids. Nigga, you have billions of dollars. If you like, it, it's not a matter of you traveling. So being across the street, I mean, at the end of the day, if she don't want you in the house. It doesn't matter what house you buy on the block. So at the at this point, it's like it's not like you have a problem getting on a fucking private jet and coming to see your children or fucking living in the same city. Like whatever. He just anywho. And then <laughs> uh, Chicago had that birthday party, and he was on live mad because nobody told him about it or he didn't have the address or whatever and Travis Scott gave him the address finally he showed up um I saw a headline that I guess Kim had said that or somebody said that he didn't have the address to the party because he told her he was going to do his own party for Chicago 
So she was like, okay, that's fine. So she just didn't bother to tell him, I guess. I don't know if this is true, but this is like somebody close to them said that Kanye has suggested that they do two separate parties. Mm, and he, nice. I, that doesn't seem like out of his character to be like, well, bitch, I'll do it myself. I, you know what I mean? Like, so she was probably like, okay, don't do it. Bye. And then he got shitty because she had <laughs> she had a party and didn't tell him. <laughs> he got to like, oh, and then I also read that he was saying that um he had picked he had picked North up from school recently and he took her home and she wanted to show him something in the house in her room or something and he went to go in the house and the security guard was like no you can't come in here so and i guess like kim had not told him that he wasn't allowed in her house so he was all up in arms about that but he also said that he didn't talk to her about it so i'm like well if you upset about it why you didn't say nothing and then he was upset because apparently like pete davidson be in the house but he can't go in the house I see, I seen that uh, Pete got more security or something now. Yeah, he got more security. Oh yeah, because, he uh, slapped that fan last week too. This yeah. nigga is on. <laughs> they, said he, they said he got more security, just not for the sake of Kanye, but um, crazy ass people. Yeah, crazy ass followers. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, look too too much deeper into it, but man, hopefully, it, I mean, hopefully they work out whatever. Uh, Whatever it is, I mean, because separating or divorcing, and I, I guess that's what they doing. I don't know what they doing because y'all rich as fuck. Y'all could be divorced. I mean, y'all could be divorced. But um, so I don't know what they doing. However, going through separation, divorce, whatever in itself is like a whole thing when you got all these like kids involved and then y'all in them y'all both in the media y'all both got new people y'all dealing with the media twisting up you know what i'm saying whatever stories which adds so much many more layers on top of the shit i can only imagine you know what i'm saying what that's what that's like but they in them beginning stages of uh trying to figure the shit out and figure out them boundaries right like what's cool and what ain't cool so yeah, he went to the house thinking like, oh, it's shit. Yeah, we this what we normally do, and yeah. she like, hell no, nigga, this ain't this ain't what's going on. You know what I'm saying right now? So yeah, he just got they got to figure out them boundaries. And one of the things about Kanye that we know is that he lives his life out loud. Like that nigga is gonna live his shit out loud. He gonna say, you know what I'm saying, whatever. In which sometimes it works for him, and sometimes it make him look like people say, like the crazy one, because he's just saying his shit out loud. You don't give a fuck, while other people kind of maintaining they cool, at least publicly maintaining they cool, and he just spazzing. So I don't know, man. I hope they work work their shit out, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, you know, uh, my question will be, he must have found out about that birthday like impromptu because this man showed up to that birthday in a leather outfit. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready. That, that ain't that ain't birthday. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. those, but not for a child. So he must have been out somewhere. And like, man, yo, you heard about yo, Chicago having a birthday party? He, you know, jump on social <laughs> media and. Just went up there, you know. Just, I don't know. I don't know. I just know the leather, the leather outfit. Just, I wouldn't have wore that to a child's birthday party. Like that was just a little over the top, you know. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. You know him and his fashion. Hell. Yeah, we know him and his fashion. Uh, speaking of people going crazy, Britney Spears. Girl, Damn, what did happen with her now? Somebody look, put her back under fucking conservatorship because she is <laughs> out of fucking control. First of all, why are you posting fully nude pictures on Instagram? I that was old. That, that. Was, that was new. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. She's currently doing shit like this. Yes. Yeah. She's still doing them whack ass fucking dances. Her eyes be all glazed. Like, are you high? Like, what the hell is wrong with her? She's she mental illness for sure. There, 
I don't know if they kept her in the damn house for the last 15, 20 years or what, but she is, I feel like she's stuck in a fucking time capsule. Yeah. Like, girl, yeah. what? She ain't been right since she gave herself that college boy. College well, boy haircut. She, she, she on Instagram posting these long ass posts basically cussing out her sister. Her sister did some interview with some uh, news station or whatever, Mm -hmm. NBC or something, and basically was like, I didn't do nothing, and I've always tried to support her, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, Brittany's like, no, you... (sighs) I don't really know, honestly, what she was trying to say. It sounds like she's trying to say, like, You've always been spoiled. You, you know, you're the youngest child and that you've always gotten what you wanted. And I had to work for everything that I got. I feel like that's what she's trying to say, but it's so the message is so long and it's so all over the place. It's like, girl, what the fuck are you saying? Then she said she should have slapped slapped her sister and her mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She put this in a damn message. I should have slapped them. <laughs> Man, Hollywood is a dangerous drug. Man, I will, oh. I will just say that. And oh. I mean, I don't know, man. That fame can do something different to people because I don't know, like, what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> like, <laughs> what is wrong with her? Like, in posting naked pictures. Britney Spears, if you don't go sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> pictures. And what is she like? 40 something? How old is Britney Spears? She gotta be at least 40. Close she, to gotta, it. she gotta be at least 40. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, Britney Spears, you think you're 40. Old. I know she you gotta be. Damn enough. There you go, Britney Spears. Let's look. Yeah, she's 40. Yeah, Just hey, you. You 40. I mean, I don't know if you feel like you missed a boat on that era of That's your life. Where... They, like lock her in the house literally for 20 years because yeah. she's out here acting like she's still 17. For real. Like the way she acts, just her mannerisms and the way she talks, you would think she's a teenager. Look like this a girl. young teenager. Mental oh, man. illness. Let me look for it. Illness, drugs, probably. I don't know. It's out of control. Okay. But man, I can only um I don't know. Man, that fame would drive you uh drive you crazy though. If Ooh. you if especially if you ain't got the uh the right people around you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? No, I mean it could be a little mental thing, it could be a little messy thing, you know. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I mean she looks terrible. She still got them damn clip-ins in. Mm. Girl, if you don't. Hey, but no, nah, if she's still doing that type of shit, it's, probably, it's mental. I mean, mentally, she's in a time capsule. Like, she it's is. mental. Like, I'm looking at one video. The caption was like, okay, I get it. Laugh. Call me ridiculous. I don't care, but I guess it's one of those had to be their moments i seriously still don't understand how one bottle of water was moving inside the other one was still on the same countertop silly sharing but i had to and it just shows her recording these two bottles of water (laughs) yeah i mean you know man all jokes aside man just hopefully Hopefully something comes over. Hopefully she can get the help she needs or whatever. Because the the mental mental illness thing is real, man. I'm just man. This you Very. know. Um, people be overlooking it. Speaking of Britney's, uh, Britney Renner went on Fresh and Fit today and lit they ass up as she corn balls, huh? Corn balls. She fucking ran they ass through the mud today, and they didn't have shit to say. Neither one of them. They were sitting up there. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what they Idiots. get? Huh? I said that's what they get. Running. I know. Running. That's definitely what they get, dummies. 
But she, and she was asking them like basic ass questions and they couldn't answer because they stupid. Cornball, she like, know, they, ain't no, <laughs> excuse, they don't have no game about themselves. They, yeah, idiots. She was like, so I know that you had said, basically, I guess they had said something like girls like her are like blah, blah, blah. And she was like, so, so what am I like then? And they were like, oh, well, in general, she was like, no, no, no. Don't say general. You were you specifically said me, so tell me what I'm like. And they just sat there, and then she's like, um, he he told her, you're just like every other girl. You're forgettable. She was like, oh, I'm forgettable. So what do you get out of telling women that they're forgettable? He had zero to say, and she was like, I mean, if I call you a bitch ass nigga, like that does something for me. You're you. <laughs> She's like, I didn't really want to come on this show because this show is forgettable. You're forgettable. The, the name is forgettable. Like, this show is is trash. Like, so they just had absolutely nothing to say. And it was great. And I love watching every minute yeah. of it. If he knew any better, he should have been like this. <laughs> That's all. Cut. Help. Cut it. Help. I mean, hey man, I'm listening to those guys, man, the little clips I've seen on social media, it's like, man, y'all, y'all, y'all cornballs in high school. Y'all was the ones that was asking for hugs and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they was those type, you know. And that the homecoming, they they went to homecoming with all their homeboys and were just standing around, they ain't had no date or they couldn't pull nothing. It's one of those. Yeah. You know, and now they the ones that got all the you know, advice and insight on what a woman is. And to be honest, I mean, you know, we really, as a man, you know, we ain't really got too much room to be like really going on and just talking about how women are in a sense. You know what I'm saying? That's just something that we should never just go off, let alone degrade y'all, you know? And mm -hmm. that's and that's what they do. That's the reason why they that's the reason why she's on that's the reason why she's on the show is because of the degrading and everything that they were doing, you know. And it's like again, why should we be doing this? What what do you get out of that? Like as a man, like what do you get out of doing that degrading? Like you like you're gonna be able to pull something when you out in the street. Only thing you're gonna get pulled is getting cussed out immediately. Immediately, you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm glad she went on there and said what she said. You know, it's a play for everybody. She yeah. might not just be for you. That might that that's the best. That's possibly the best answer you can give. Like, it ain't that she this type. She just ain't your type. Right. You ain't. Yeah. 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 Shenanigans. Um. <clears throat> so, I wanted to get y'all's opinion about. Um. Sunday's uh, Mike Todd sermon because everybody was ready to kick him off the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't seen the clip, uh, if you don't know who Mike Todd is, he is a black pastor. He's young. He's like our age, 30s, mid 30s. Mm -hmm. um, he pastors in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um. And he uses a lot of illustrations when he preaches. So he, his church has grown significantly in the past, like five years, like mm -hmm. totally exploded just straight off social media um, exposure. One of his relationship goals series went viral a couple of years ago. I, that's how I got put on him. I watched one of the relationship goals videos. And after that, like, everything took off for him. So he uses a lot of visual, um, you know, explanations while he's preaching. And at this point, like <clears throat> his, his church is so like big and stuff. They have like a full blown video team and like, it's a full production. So what used to be like a little, you know, visual representation on like a little table is like a full stage with like all kind of shit. So anywho, Sunday, he was preaching, and it was something about, like, <clears throat> essentially, he was trying to say, like, you got to go through some shit when you following God, basically. The way that he demonstrated it, he was like, 
something, 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 like, it's going to get nasty, right? Those were the words that came out of his mouth. And as he's standing there, he's standing next to this man who I didn't know at the time, but apparently it was his, his, his brother. And he spits in his hand, his own hand, like, loogie, like, real spit in his hand. And as he's talking and he's talking and keeps repeating this, it's going to get nasty, da 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 he, like, just wipes this spit on his brother's face, right? It was gross. It was disgusting. I even was like, oh, absolutely not. Like, verbally, it was like, oh, but all right, cool, whatever. So everybody, the internet exploded. <laughs> everybody was ready to cancel him. I don't know why y'all even follow Mike Todd. I've been trying to tell y'all forever that he's this and he's that and da da da. Like, here they come. <laughs> here they come. So the next, it might not even been a full day, but regardless, it was either that night or the next day. He made an apology video and he was like, listen, I watched it over. That shit was gross. I shouldn't have done it. I crossed the line. Like sometimes I just get a little, I, I take it too far sometimes. And this was absolutely a time I took it too far. I apologize. I agree with y'all. I shouldn't have done it. It won't happen again. Cool. Like to me, I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever. Like I didn't even, yes, I thought it was gross. Yes. I thought he took it too far, but was I ready to cancel him? No. <laughs> but I appreciate the fact that he made an apology because a lot of motherfuckers don't make apologies for a lot bigger damn issues. Mm -hmm. So I moved on to <laughs> the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> At the time. So what do y'all think about it? Um, should I go first? <laughs> um, you know, my, my wife, she watches him. I think he's a good guy. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely um, descriptive in regards to putting, you know, getting this message across, which I think is cool. You know, um, he just took it too far. It was just a moment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I commend him, like you said, for coming out and apologizing. You know what I'm saying? Because if if, if we're gonna really be honest here, it's people that's part of a congregations, and the and the guy that's in the pool pit. Is knocking this woman down, that woman down, the oh, other boy. woman, a sister, and oh, you don't see him. I don't see none of them asking him to get up and apologize on a Sunday at all. At all, they still there. They still there for their pastor. I mean, doing way more damage to the church than right. him. You know, trying to get a message across, which he just he just crossed the line this time. You know. That's my thing. I'm, it's, it's, it's so many other things <laughs> right. in the world. People could not wait. They like. Yeah. I feel like when when there's a pastor that's young and he's actually reaching a lot of people, like people hate to see that. It's like, well, what the fuck is he doing to do that? Like that's unheard of. So he must be a crook. He must be a snake. He must be doing you know the wrong shit he's he's a like i'm like i don't understand like this is what yeah. we want this is what we this need is what this is how we fucking internalize it how we yeah. take in the bible and when we get it y'all want to throw it away because there's no way like what i'm confused you know the thing i've learned about um just the black community in general, one thing I've just come to the realization, we're the most liberal, but yet the most conservative. Boy, in, in the is that it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we're liberal as hell, but when it comes to certain things, we're conservative and we're going to hold to it. And this is one, and, and, and the black church is one of those. Yeah. Seriously. You know? So, um, <clears throat> I, you know, it, it was a mistake. You know what I'm saying? That man fessed up to it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna learn from it, you know, and, and be able to move on. And that's and as Christians, and I'm not even the most I'm not the most religious type, but I know as Christians, you're supposed to be able to forgive right. and keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be in your Christian heart to do that. <laughs> Why y'all can't do it now? You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, it was very disgusting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And my nigga, for, for starts, nigga, it's COVID mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, yeah, we wearing whole masks and you rubbing spit, your spit on somebody's face. Yeah, that's not setting a good example. Even if it is your brother, your family, I don't give a damn how close y'all is. It's not a good example you setting there, right. but um, yeah, like y'all said, if much worse uh things that have been done it's hard for me i i didn't see the um apology part but it's kind it's hard for me to be like you know do you apologize because you actually feel like you fucked up or do you apologize because everybody talking about canceling you or whatever the case is at this point but <clears throat> I hope it was uh, sincere. Like I said, I didn't see it, so I don't know. But I hope it was um, sincere. And uh, yeah, man, don't do not do that no more. Man. Gotta, <laughs> like, that's that's the thing. Like, you shouldn't even have to come back around and be apologizing for it mm-hmm. because that's a bitch you should have just... Like, what? how did you even feel comfortable doing that? <laughs> but that's that's just my take on it but man yeah shout out to Pastor <laughs> hopefully he uh he get together man we don't want to see no more of that yeah. let's keep on putting your boats in the water and <laughs> yeah. you know <laughs> putting your boats in the water i mean oh, i see no. one he had a boat on stage in the middle of water i'm like boy this he whole production he got going i'm like that's pretty cool you know it's still on my bucket list to visit his church, so I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> Said it's still on my bucket list to visit the Transformation Church, so. Well, I mean, it's going to be on mine, too. If the way this nigga talking about, he got a whole boat on. <laughs> yeah, whole like, boat. Oh, this nigga's putting on a real production. He put on a real deal a production. Whole production. Yes. A, a very much a whole damn production. Graphics. Is pristine. The damn branding for every series is fire. Like I don't know what the fuck team he got, but that shit fire. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, Jeezy and Jenny named their son Monaco. Monaco Jenkins. <laughs> that shit sounds so ghetto. Oh. When you MJ. the whole name like that, you put <laughs> Jenkins behind it. <laughs> call that call that boy MJ. Mo, they gonna call Monica it Monty. Monty. <laughs> Monty. 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 Monty Jenkins. Hey, my, Monty Jenkins. Monty Jenkins. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God! Ew. Boy, Monty. What up, Monty? <laughs> yeah. And it's gonna be even more weird because he gonna have that ghetto ass name and he's gonna be a whole blazing child. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. Um Celebrity Big Brother. Did you see the lineup for that? No. Shikari is gonna be in this house. Lamar really? Odom. Tiffany Pollard. Tiffany Pollard. That's all in New York. Yeah. Yeah. So you said they have, who you said, Shikana or Shikara? Shikara. Shikari. Now, who Richie. was that? The track. The track girl. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What? Okay. All right. Yeah. Who, who else? Um, who else did I say? Um, I'm trying to look it up right now because it's like and she's supposed to be getting running, running. Yeah, like That's she's right. supposed to be at that level already. Like, you talking what? about you in the house with Lamar Odom and New Odom York, New York. Like these are, you know, I mean, for lack of better words, these are washed up motherfuckers. You're not supposed to be in that category. Like who? Where's your team? Where's your <laughs> team? Listen, yeah. she need that money. Uh, uh, Nene leaks. Neo. <laughs> Todd. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised at that one. But old girl Shakari, she sounds like she the she the youngest one in the room. Yeah. Todd Hall. Tyler Cameron. Whoever that is. Yeah, I'm like, I don't but know who these Nene Leakes, Lamar Odom, Neil, Todrick, Tiffany, Shikari. 
Mm. Neo gonna be in that bitch dancing with a broom. <laughs> When it comes up, why you think if people? they win, like what do they get? Does it go to charity? Because I don't know. That's a good question. I had that um I know Pam watches Big Brother. I have to ask her. Yeah, yeah. ask Pam. Uh yeah, I just thought that was interesting. I'm like, really, Shikari? <clears throat> yeah. Man, where is your team at? Like, like what B said, like you're just on the brink of like really getting this thing going. And you, you, you there. You got people behind you, regardless of whatever you do. And it was just like, oh fuck it, I'm just gonna make this U turn and go on celebrity. <laughs> they, they gonna support me. They gonna support me on this. Like, yeah. The thing about it is, like, she didn't have her uh, mistakes, and you know, what I'm saying just different stuff. She didn't done. You know, what I'm saying wrong, whatever. The best thing, and I mean, this is just my opinion on it, but the best thing. For her to do is focus in on her craft. Yes. <clears throat> and stay out the media, stay out all that shit. You can shut everybody up by focusing on your craft and succeeding in that. That's going to shut everybody up. I feel like her going on a reality show is just like, we seen how she is in the media. Like, Damn. we seen that. So this is, I mean, this is a scary a thing. Setup. Like, it's a yeah. setup. Exactly. It's a setup because then it takes the focus off of what we was focused on in the first place, which was you in running and track and all, you know, just yeah. you you supposed to be focused on that, man, not on reality TV. You ain't and you the youngest. It sound like everybody down there, I mean, maybe everybody, I'm like, you know, everybody like 20 sick. years ago older than you yeah everybody's established in some sense everybody's had they run yeah exactly yep yes i wish it was kind of yeah me too the they finally rescheduled the grammys it's gonna be yeah. virtual on april 3rd so i was wondering well, gonna they gonna, yeah it's gonna be virtual I, I heard it was, was to to Vegas. here in Vegas, but it's gonna be virtual, like uh, yeah, like they did it the last like in 2020, where I want to say it was like limited people there and shit. Like yeah. there was no audience; it was just a few people who had won. I wonder why they move it then if it's just gonna be virtual anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but. <sighs> This 2022 is feeling real 2020-ish right about now. Mm. I'm, I'm yeah. sick of it. I'm sick of all of it. Um, I saw a clip today. Apparently, T.I. is doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> like, for real? What? Here in Atlanta? I, I assume it's in Atlanta. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I, I need to see this for myself. Yeah, like where would you see this at? Like where? I need room. proof. It says on the shade room. Yeah, I just put it in the chat. <laughs> oh, hilarious! Okay, fucking hilarious. This guy Ti and stand up comedian. What is all right? I'm gonna have to watch this later, but <laughs> all right, TI. I guess, Chad, I guess, but um, other than that, I mean, same old bullshit. Adele Vegas residency is delayed and she's on line like bawling like it's the end of the world. Poor thing. She gotta keep it together. It's gonna be okay, Adele. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm mad I didn't get to make it to Usher's residency. Tell me. Be. If you do it again, y'all gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go. 
<laughs> what else we got? Y'all don't want to talk about whack whack one hundred? Yeah, right. we can we can close the show with that nigga. Well, he always got some shit to say. He, oh, I can't stand yeah, that. Yeah, that shit. Like a lot of what always confused me is that um, it's always like random people he talking about. Like there's never no like uh, reports of no beef or no bad blood between like him and this person. It's always just so random. Like for him to make that comment about uh, Master P, <clears throat> like man, that just saying Master P is broke. Yeah, I mean, this um, came cool with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My thing is, I'm like, how you know he don't own his masters? Like, man, he lost his masters 18 years ago. I'm like, how you know that? Like, <laughs> how do you know all this? You know what I'm saying? Like, next week he's gonna be like, fuck Eddie Evander uh, Holyfield. <laughs> you know, he gonna say, I mean, it's just every time it's just something just so random, like, it's no connection. He just he just talking out the side of his neck, and even the people that was on the clubhouse was like, "Yo, you out of line, man!" <laughs> like, it's yeah. like every time he says something, there's always somebody checking. I'm like, "Yo, you out of line, man! You gotta stop," you know. And it's like I don't. It's just it's just too many people with platforms that are just saying shit to be saying, and, and it's just keeping them relevant. And that's what I kind of feel like with him. You know, because he hasn't done nothing that's just been, you know, to make him be like he has a place within this culture, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it's just like now, I know he was working with um with 6 9 and a lot of people was, you know, questioning that. But I feel like, man, you he he damn near acting like an older version of 6 9 mm-hmm. at this point. It's like he's just picking on people. Like, what did you... What are you just picking on people for? Man, what do you he say? He's like, man, that motherfucker. Oh, he ain't broke. Why the fuck he selling noodles? <laughs> what? <laughs> this man's just trying to have different streams of revenue. What's yeah. the problem with that? This motherfucker. Right, what do you sell, nigga? How about that? Yeah, so I don't know. I don't understand uh, what 100's angle or what he trying to do or what he trying to do, like prove to to the culture? I don't know. What he, I don't know. I don't get it. No He's a gossiper. Stuff. He's like a little girl. Like I've never seen a, a grown ass man of his big age, like always starting shit. It's weird. Always. Weird nigga energy. <sighs> but that's all I got for this week. All right. All right. And- Playlist. Playlist. You know, since I'm going to see my favorite Wale next weekend again, yay! He should know my face by now. <laughs> I'm just gonna do all Wale songs this week. Okay, okay. got it. Oh, Lotus Flower Bomb, uh, Bad, and my personal favorite, No Hands, because it oh, takes me back to. My college days, Miami spring break. All right, do you want to go? I'll go. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Um, shit, I'm gonna start off with a classic. Ben's a Beamer, Outcast. Man, I was so excited to see man. Them niggas finally put New Jersey Drive soundtrack on streaming platforms. Well, I guess it's been on there for like two weeks. I'm just not coming across it. Yeah, I would have never known if you ain't say nothing just now. Yeah. Uh, Yams with, um, I don't know how to, Mace, Macy Go? No, uh, Masego. Masego. Masego, thank you. Yep. Masego featuring Devin Morrison. And um, another classic, No Ideas Original by Nas. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I chose, uh, speaking of, um, Pete Davidson and Kanye, the game easy. Um, oh, shout out to um, man Gunner for uh, beating out the weekend. Yeah, in, uh, in a number one album. I mean, that was completely. I didn't expect him to beat the weekend, but I mean, I think it's kind of dope that he did. So uh, Gunner and uh, Drake, uh, P Power. 
And uh, last but not least, um, Jeezy Go Crazy Remix mm. with Jay on there. I had to, uh, the other day, had a, 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 a battle between um, Jay, Drake, and uh, Wayne. And it was uh, 15 rounds, and Jay came out victorious, 11 of them. As you said. <laughs> so that was that. But, Boom. Yeah. All right. Make sure y'all uh, subscribe on um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Google Podcasts, Pandora. Um, yeah, wherever else you listen to a uh, podcast at. And um, yeah, y'all got anything else? When times get rough, you won't no, look, give it up. We don't have, we don't have nothing else. can't else. let you go. It's not whispers, baby. That's, That's all right. Our, this is our exit song. This <laughs> is our exit song. man. Word to the whispers. This sand man about to come out on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I ain't watched Apollo in a minute either. I'm gonna watch that shit. They got it on Tubi, don't they? That's why I've been watching that. (laughs) Oh, my uncle has a movie on Tubi now. It's called Pieces of a Dream. So if you're looking for, wait, he he in it or he like? He's in it. It's old though, but they just picked it up on Tubi. (coughs) What 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 year did it come out? Probably early 2000s, maybe. I don't remember. It's not like ancient old, but it's at least. Early 2000s old. Yeah, pieces, <laughs> okay. pieces of a dream. All right. Uh, gotta pieces check of out. a dream. Oh. Yep. Go watch that. Right, Monty J. He plays. A, I think his character is Black Jesus. Black Jesus. Yeah. All right. He's Black like the Jesus. villain in the movie, basically. It's some wild shit. All right. All right. Black Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that took a sudden turn. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, uh, next week. Peace yeah. Out. I got it. All right.